Hey guys, it's Blade again from Car Audio Security. Now, you normally see me doing product reviews, but they've let me out today. So today we're at Ultimate Dubs 2024. Right, so today we're not really gonna be covering a lot of vehicles. We're gonna try and focus on the ultimate cars that are here at Ultimate Dubs. So we're gonna choose a handful of ultimate vehicles and see what ultimate parts are on there just see what ultimate cars we've got here. So let's have a look. To my right, we've got what looks like a Group B Audi Quattro. Something nice to see when you first walk into the gates. Obviously, it's shut at the moment, but this is the first car you see essentially when you walk into the halls. So when I say Group B, that's usually the rally spec Audi Quattro's. This one looks more set up for time attack. So when you first look at the car, it kind of catches your eye because it is really wide and really quite aggressive. Um, you've got loads of aero coming on in the front here with the wide arches and the kind of over fenders that stick right up here all carbon fiber so it all looks awesome obviously the white bodywork against the carbon fiber looks amazing as well so being a time attack spec car you've got to have a hench wing on it and obviously this car is made to go extremely fast going uphill so it needs to be very very light so all of the windows by the looks of it are plexiglass you've even got quattro embossed in the rear window so that's pretty wicked i mean just look at the size of the rear arches on this they are massive and it uh, looks like we've got some old school BVSs. Don't ask me what they are. It's too old for me, I really don't know. <laughs> Maybe someone can tell us in the comments, but some awesome looking old school BVS splits um, on some Michelin semi-slick tires. Yeah, so this means business. school and then you've got old school rat rod air cooled beetles obviously there's quite a selection of cars here, and this is just the first haul we've got quite a lot to look around so let's get going Hall opens at nine, so it's nice and quiet now, but just wait, it's about to get busy. So we are in, I guess this is like the main hall, so we have the stage to our right here. Uh, this is like the show and shine area, I think, so we can have a little mooch around and look at these cars here. Got air and audio as well. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is a nice one to quickly mention. Mark 1 GTI BBS RSs, Land on Airlift Performance Suspension, Recaro Sports to Seats, which is really nice to see, and carbon everywhere. It's got a carbon dash, for Christ's sake, and it's got little quarter lights that you can open which is nice I think they're called quarter lights and then in the back it's got a boot build so we've got two JL W0 subs and air ride set up and it's really nice Shows on your own. What do you normally gravitate to? I 
don't know. I don't have a particular like, oh, I want to go to go and see that car. Yeah. Not really. It's, I just go and look at what's there and if something catches my eye, like this boot build and this golf, for instance, quite eye catching, I'll stop and have a look. So this is quite a popular team car. This is Steve's or S30 BMX's R8, new look. And this has been through a few different iterations in its time. This is the newest look, so he's wrapped it orange, kept the carbon front end, and then gone for five spoke split Vossens. They were the Vossens that are now on Palm's car, was on it before, I believe. So gone for a completely different look. Um, it's all right, I like it. So we are at the big Maguire's booth and Raj's new 992 GT3 RS has got its first outing at a show at the Maguire's stand here, sitting and looking very pretty. So we are at the Voodoo Wheel Stand. Ellie here is the wizard when it comes to split wheels. He's done a lot of Raj's wheels and a lot of our customers' wheels as well. So we've got, I believe, Mark's Porsche on the stand, wheels by Ellie. We've got our 8 Series wheels by Ellie. So he knows what he's doing. Check him out. If you had to pick one to drive back. There's a lot to pick from this year. Yeah, a lot to pick from. I think it would probably be between the 8 Series, because I know that drives like a dream. The RS4. Or Raj's 964, but I know that's never gonna happen. <laughs> So we're just heading up to the new and improved Slam Sanctuary stand. We've got a whole new setup here, new backdrop, and uh, new t-shirts and stuff that just dropped. Got this one, we got this one, and we got this one which has got LTO on it, and there is one more uh, which is yet to land, is that right? Coming next week? Coming next week. Okay. Pre-order available on the website, depending on when this video goes out. We've got the floral design, yeah. yeah. Faded khaki. Another floral design, faded coal, and our custom 2.0 t-shirt. Inspired oh. by our own LTO Sweet. Zombies. <laughs> You're missing a bit this off of this, mate. <laughs> with a polish shirt. And we have some cars. <laughs> There's some cars and some polishers. It's a lot of car. A lot of car. So where are we, Blade? We're in the quiet room again. Last year we were here for Ultimate Stance. Now we're here for Ultimate Dubs. It's still quiet. But we've got some nice cars in here. Let's go and have a look. Tommy's Mark II. I really like the livery on this. We need to do something like this. It's just a simple livery, but it works. The colour 
colour coordination just works very well. Don't we do a t-shirt with uh, Maguire's? Yes, Maguire's collab, Slam Sanctuary t-shirt and hoodie in this colour way with, I think this is, it's got this car on it as well. That's it. So check that out. Good t-shirt, I like that one. And hoodie. And this is that RS6 I was talking about. Oh, okay. See his hedge. Yeah, this is cool. Looks like it's um, wrapped in like a British racing green. West Forge gold, probably 22 inch wheels. 285, 30 22s. <laughs> 30? Probably not the most comfortable ride in the world. No. <laughs> but when it looks this cool, you don't really care. Colour matched roof box. I'm all about the roof box. Yeah. That looks cool. I really rate that. It looks nice. And then you've got the extended rear end to make it look even longer. It's like a three meter long car. It's a hench. All carbon at the back. Massive exhaust here. Definitely an ultimate for me. Mark 6 GTI Edition 35. Got a soft spot for the GTIs. Used to have one, had to get rid of it. Sad situation, but hey ho. Starting in the engine bay, obviously half cut bonnet. Love that. All carbon, engine cover, scuttle panel, battery cover, everything. Even down to the expansion tank is carbon. So it's obviously slammed on airlift. BBS LM splits. Porsche 6 spot calipers. It just looks mint. Come around the back, I mean, even what? Well, in the front, it's all stitched Alcantara yellow. It's manual as well, which I'm a fan of. Twin caliper rear. Four pots. Four pot rear. Six pot front. So the back end is where the magic is happening. So. Full roll cage in the back in yellow. Airlift with the tanks. Now, if you look closely, the hard line on your tank goes in through the cage. And that's the first for me seeing that. And it's a very cool concept because that must be a painstaking process to try and run the lines through there. And any installer of hard lines should know what I'm on about. I'm not saying I'm an installer of hard lines, but I know how much of a pain in the ass they are. But yeah, nice, simple back end but the floating tanks with nothing going to the floor just works really really well. Ultimate for me, ultimate and ultimate dubs, the ultimate dub are ultimate dubs for me. Looks like a cross between 
got like a Mark One at the front, and then like Del Boy's three wheeler at the back. It's quite funny. There's a little polo van from France. It's quite low as well. I don't know if it's on airlift, but it's definitely low. Cool little car, and it is little as well for a van. It's tiny. It's the van part. Is this? That's it. Dylan's car, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Is it? I think it is. This is a, um, obviously, Audi A3 on air and wheels and brakes and very, very nice, but this is a, an ex cast worker that we're all still very, very good friends with. And he's here, and he's got his car on show, so it's nice. It's done well. Oh, it's an S3. It's an S3, sorry, S, S3. Favorite part of uh, Dill's uh, build? For you. Audi rotor and Lambo brake combination. Very mm. nice. Right guys, so hopefully you can hear me first of all. There's a lot of music and stuff going along in the background, but hopefully you can hear me. So that pretty much wraps up the quick walk around video of Ultimate Dubs 2024. We've tried to keep me talking to a minimum, uh, just to try and get actual more content for you guys in this video. But yeah, there's been a really good selection of vehicles here today. My personal favorites, you can probably tell from the video, was that Mark VI Edition 35 in the quiet room. Really, really nice spec build, so I really do like that. But there's also loads of other cars that I could mention. I mean, there's another Audi Quattro just behind our airlift stand here, which is even more wild than the first one we saw at the beginning of the video. But yeah, we've got a massive stand today, completely updated airlift stand and Slam Sanctuary stand. Lots of cars and Palm's even doing a completely separate video for the channel just on the airlift stand and what cars we've got on there. So that's part of that video there. But that's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.